going on everybody dogman dan here we are in dirt rally and this video is going to be meant to pretty much just tell you everything about the game give you an overview tell you everything that's going on about the game give you some questions and answer some questions maybe that you might have about it and all that jazz okay this is the first time in the background that you'll see me running the game and playing it for the first time no uh not very good at it in the beginning you give me plenty of time to play it and I will definitely get much, much better. And that is part of the process of the game. So, if you want to troll me about how I drive, that's fine. But, keep in mind why we're here. So, if you have comments or questions or I don't cover something in this video that you want to know about, please do feel free to leave them below. And I will try to get back to you in a comment and or an update in a future video. What you want to know about Dirt Access or Dirt Rally, I'm sorry, is it is an early access on Steam. It released on April 27th. This is the next in the Code Masters Racing Studios games that is being developed, and we will talk a bit about it. So first off, let's let's get into it, shall we? Um, it's a whole new world for them. It's a pure expression of rally, the pinnacle of off-road motor racing. Um, which is now in early access with regular free updates including new locations, new game modes, and new vehicles. Dirt Rally captures the essence of what makes Rally unique. Uh, the sense of trying to maintain the control of your emotions as you hurtle along dangerous roads at breakneck speeds sometimes. Aiming to squeeze everything out of your car while knowing that one crash could irreparably harm you during your stage time. Uh, it's the ultimate test of driver skill and the ultimate in high risk, high reward gameplay. Now, having played every dirt game they've ever released, every grid game they've ever released, and pretty much every F1 game that they've ever released, um, even though some were not the best, there was some very good solid. The Codemasters has been very solid, and of course, releasing the Dirt 3 PC Complete Edition, the revamped Complete Edition, back uh, got me really back into the game again. Um, so this first off just to, to give you an idea you're gonna test yourself obviously on different events as well as uh, across different surfaces so you're gonna have a little bit of everything it is a simulation rally so if you're looking for a good rally game this may be the one to jump on if you've had that void if I really need a rally racing game something that I can really get and dig my teeth into like I said this may be the one for you it is simulation at its finest yes you can play it with keyboard yes you can play it with controller yes you can play it with the steering wheel we'll talk about some of the stuff in here uh, but steering wheel is going to be the best way to do it um, because this game is by far the most realistic of any of the games that they've put out or any dirt game that I've played in a pretty long time a rally game if you will so uh, dirt rally and the community the community is your co-driver here that's us basically and we're here to help and give them feedback during this evolution of the experience so for players joining dirt rally in early access and the road ahead the team wants our feedback and they'll be helping test uh, we'll be helping it with theories and providing vital data uh, and information to refine the game uh, experience three massive new real world locations from the start of early access uh, dirt rally offers three massive environments and 36 challenging stages with more to follow uh, you're going to be able to drive them during the day in dry overcast sunny misty wet rainy snowy conditions you can even drive them at night and that's going to be totally different very intense experience uh, for challenging as well of course because it's dark and, and whatnot uh, we're going to be right now what you're seeing in terms of game footage I'm running the first event the first uh, stage of the events uh, on Argolis Greece which is sweeping dusty gravel stages that take uh, their own toll uh, on even the strongest rally cars in this intense heat of the Mediterranean in the bright daylight or at night uh, you're also going to have access to Monte Carlo with twisting tight turns uh, dangerous roads covered with snow and ice that wind through the Alps snow and mist affect visibility during the day and night you're also going to have Wales uh, which is going to be muddy wet gravel stages and forest runs often in the rain 
during the day and at night. Uh, for this event or for this early access and I will cover this part in, an in another video We're gonna have an access to 14 cars the six new and Classic classes to drive right now in early access and I will, I'll put that right into a whole another video We'll just go right through all the cars that are available at the beginning of this uh, Rally is about having the right car and dirt rally will have all the right cars at the start of early access of course so Dirt Rally delivers the 14 cars, and they will actually be adding more cars uh, and more classes in the future, but for now we've got a solid starting point with the game. They've got a new driving model. Physics simulation of Dirt Rally has been completely rebuilt to adequately capture how it feels to race across challenging surfaces, loose surfaces, collecting uh, dirt under your wheels um, during lateral sliding, Creating completely new feel to sliding around the corners, which I'm not doing very well in this right now. But like I said, this is my first recording, and over time I will get better and improve, and that'll show in future videos. You have the Rally Championship, you have Rally Async, and you have Custom Rally Events. So you're going to take on a single stage and learn the calls in Custom Rally Events. Complete custom, uh, complete against increasing skill opponents in Rally Seasons, or you can prove yourself against the entire community of players in rally async challenges you've got team management where you're going to be able to hire up to four engineers to work on your vehicle um you're going to choose things like their contract length their wage demands uh, they'll offer insights to you on upgrading your vehicles and renewing obviously renewing the contracts you'll be able to keep them and you'll get extra perks specific uh, that will help make your vehicle faster you have upgrades to your vehicle as you drive your vehicle in events, your engineers will become more familiar with it and it will reach upgrades that will unlock uh, the full potential of the car. Dirt Rally's comprehensive upgrade system makes meaningful improvements to the car's handling and performance to stay competitive. Um, tuning, you're going to be delivering the most comprehensive tuning system and so far in a dirt game. Uh, dirt Rally enables players to tune their cars. Uh, based on weather conditions, car conditions, and more to ensure they can refine their setup and get the car feeling right for their driving style. You also have an option at the beginning of every uh, stage to set up your vehicle, which is a nice option. Uh, damage and repairs. Uh, of course, off-road racing is tough um, uh, and unforgiving. And you're going to have uh, vehicle wear and tear, if you will, as replicated in the game. And it's comprehensive mechanical damage system. Uh, thankfully, damage can be repaired by hiring engineers to work on the team's service area between stages. Similar to the uh, Colin McRae rally games, this finite amount of time to repair cars between rally stages. It's actually a nice thing. You're, you are able to set up specifically what you want repaired, how much of it you want repaired. The team can give you suggestions on what they think should be repaired. Uh, it's a nice thing to have in between the stage uh, that you are running physics based assists so you're able to have assists on it's not all about raw speed excuse me in this game uh, but players experience cars in their purest form it offers a selection of real world assists similar to those in race and road vehicles so you got traction control which is going to work to minimize wheel spin abs uh, increases your braking ability to prevent the wheel from locking up and stability control keeps your car from over rotating in the corners uh, and most notably there is no Gymkhana in this this is pure rally racing this is all it is meant to be only rally racing so I repeat no Gymkhana thank you now let's go ahead and get into some questions that you may or may not have in this while I go through this if you're still sitting around and I hope you are enjoying this and again, like I said, comments, questions, anytime below. We'll try to answer them for you or get answers for you. Um, why early access? Well, to get immediate access to a game that is being developed with the community's involvement. These games uh, that evolve as you play them, as you give feedback, and as the developers update and add content. Uh, and they feel that this is the exact way that it should be. They want to. Uh, they want us to feel like we're part of the development team and help them build a better game. And I am all for that if it is a solid investment and a solid game and a solid 
uh, whatever you want to call it. And it is entirely your choice how you want to do it. You want to wait with, you want to put it on your wish list, and see how it develops farther. You know, those are the types of things. Everybody, when you're talking early access, everybody thinks differently about how early access should be or what is early access. And I don't do a lot of early access games, but I think Codemasters has a solid enough background for me to pick it up and do it. And as far as racing games, there's really only one other racing game that I've ever put into early access, and that is a set of Corsa. And we all know how great that simulation game is. So this one is shaping up to be probably one of the best rally racing games out there, or hopefully will be because we're able to get involved in this. So what you're getting for your money, you're going to get 36 rally stages spread across Monte Carlo, Greece, and Wales, like we've already said. There will be a total of 17 cars from the 1960s classics all the way through modern day 2010s. Uh, as time goes on, they'll add more cars, more events. They will add climbing like Pikes Peak and going door to door around a selection of best circuits from the 2015 FIA World Rallycross Championship. And they'll be adding those features based on the feedback, so be sure to let them know what you're really looking to have in future updates. Okay, so how much is this stuff gonna cost? Well, not anything more than than what it currently is uh, for the early access. Anything that comes out during the early access stage is going to be free of charge during early access. There is no additional cost after this. Afterwards, once it's gone live, you know, there may be DLCs and stuff, and that's gonna be a whole different story, but during early access, whatever they deliver during early access will stay as yours based off the cost. Uh, dirt Rally going to consoles. Here's a big one, okay? So first off, I personally, being a PC player, am the first thing I saw when I saw this on Steam Early Access is that I knew this was a game developed for PC using PCs like always, like we've done in years and years and years. Why they've always used PCs to build games and then ported them to consoles and then back to PCs, I never understood. But this game was built on the premise of PC and it is being played on the premise of PC. Um, and for now, their focus is early access and developing this game for the PC. Okay, uh, console players may seem a little upset about that. And I got a lot of you guys that are console players that follow me and we talk all the time. Um, it's nothing against you guys, but you know, for me to, to have access to a game that I know is developed on PC first, similar to Warframe that was developed on PC first, I know that I'm going to get the best of everything when I'm playing it and there's a lot less issues that I'm gonna have to deal with being it's not ported. Now for consoles right now they're not talking about making a console version. They will if there is sufficient demand consider it after they've gotten through this early access stage and gotten all the community feedback and absolutely feel like they've gotten the experience right. Then they'll consider that of course. And I'm sure that there probably would be something, but I don't know how it would feel on consoles versus how realistic you can get it onto a PC, of course. So, uh, of course, helping out, we all know how to do that. You're going to simply, of course, find the game, help support it, and then making sure you leave feedback, you turn your friends on to it if you really want to. You're not forced into this. There's nobody forcing you into it. You can sit back. You can watch my gameplay. You can watch other people's stuff. Uh, as we go through it, you can check on the development. Um, and then wait to see at some point later, you know, get into it or when it goes live, whatever, you know. Uh, but now is the time to really take part in it. Submitting bugs, of course, anytime you see a bug, you want to make sure you get it on the Steam forums and the Codemaster forums. Get them submitted, get them to know what's going on so that way it can be fixed. Minimum requirements are going to be in uh, OS Windows 7 or 8.1, AMD dual core or Intel dual core, 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, AMD HD 5450 or NVIDIA 430 or Intel HD 4000 with a 1 gig of VRAM on it. It is, it says 30 gigs of hard drive space. Uh, it's like a 7.5 gigabyte download right now. Now the maximum or the recommended should be uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 with an AMD FX 8150 or an Intel i5 4670 with 8 gigs of RAM, an AMD R9 290 or a NVIDIA GTX 780 video card. Uh, again, 30 gigabytes of space on your hard drive for loading and such. Uh, in terms of wheels and controllers that are currently supported, of course you have keyboard, uh, but they've got the official Xbox Wireless 360, 
Wired 360, Logitech G25 and G27, Thrustmaster T500 RS Racing Wheel, RSF1 Racing Wheel, Fanatec Club Sport Base Version 1 and 2 right now. This is not the final list. Other wheels will be worked in and will be added. Uh, they're just not officially supported yet, so just stay tuned for that and feel free to leave that information, of course, in the uh, Steam forms or in the Codemaster forms, and they will get those things uh, looked at, I guess, in the possibility. And however you feel most com comfortable, try to make Dirt Rally as easy as is to follow. So they got a new shiny website, dirtgame.com, which should be the first port of call. Here they have blogs, dev team, videos, development timeline. They're also able to check your stats, leaderboard standings, join a host, a league, uh, view the progress in the online events, uh, it launch an event, and so forth. And yes, I did say host a league. There are going to be leagues. Uh, they also plan on hosting regular live streams, uh, take part in chances, uh, other things, names, asking questions, sneak peeks, and all that stuff on their Twitch. And of course, you have the Steam Community Hub, Codemaster Forms are a great place to put them. Uh, I believe the subreddit, there's a dirt subreddit that they're hoping uh, people will subscribe to. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and all that good jazz. Now, with all that said, if you're still sitting around, uh, I'm going to tell you, I really am enjoying it for what it is worth. It does feel realistic. Uh, it is a pain in the ass to drive. It is a challenge. It is fun. Uh, can you do it on keyboard? Yes, I was actually doing it on keyboard for part of this. And I did see myself improve through the stages, through the rally stages here. Uh, the three different events that I'm running. Actually, it's four stages for Greece, but I think I only got probably three on here. Uh, so I was definitely enjoying myself. I was definitely improving, and uh, I'm definitely going to submit my wheel to them to get that officially supported if possible, which is my Steel Series wheel. Uh, but you know, so far so good. Uh, I'm happy with the investment, uh, and I'm really looking forward to seeing this game go and grow. It is definitely a step in the right direction for Codemasters. I think it's someplace that we've all, as fans, wanted to see the Dirt series get into something more realistic and just worry about Dirt and not worry about Jim Connor. There's nothing wrong with Jim Connor, but it just doesn't fit in the rally racing. So, And it's going to be really cool to see Pike's Peak maybe down the road and some other stuff. So they've gone a new direction. They're doing something awesome. They're doing something great, I think. And uh, I am definitely looking forward to it. So... For now, if you have any comments or questions, like I said throughout this video, please do feel free to leave them below. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you come back for more uh, when I do post more. Check out some of the other stuff on my channel. This is the needless uh, plugging of my own channel. You can always check out the community, the NOG forums, the NOG website, and all that good jazz. And until next time, thanks for watching, guys. As always, I'll catch you later on.